Apparently being limited to a white room will make you go literally insane. It's also considered to be one of the most dangerous torture tactics on the planet. I think it's cap. Not gonna lie. I think it's I think it's very fat cap. <laughs> I was gonna film my bathroom, but it's just not wide enough. So I'm gonna build one in my living room. I purchased the cheapest material I could find. However, I want the room to be massive. We literally had to rent a Lowe's truck just to get the stuff to my house. This was bigger than I thought. It's also really bright inside. It's kind of like Discord light mode. This is the white room. <laughs> there is no way there's a cat inside. Like, how did you even get in here? Anyways, it also has furniture. I think the hardest part about this room is genuinely how bright it is. This room is actually extremely bright. To put it in perspective, an average flashlight is about 150 lumens. A TikToker's ring light is about 800 lumens. A car's headlights are an average 3,000 lumens. <laughs> My white room is 3,500 lumens. Yeah. The challenge has started. I'm officially stuck in this torture chamber for the next 24 hours. It's bright in here. Everything in my room has to be white, including my clothes and my food. These are kind of, these are kind of stale. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty, I kind of want to understand what I'm actually getting into. It didn't take me very long to realize that this is probably the most dangerous thing I've ever done. And I've done some pretty dangerous things. After 23 hours of staying in the white room, you'll start to experience hallucination, anxiety, migraines, and you'll start to lose sense of time. I would say I've been in here for like, 20 minutes or maybe like 15 no 16 minutes something like that <laughs> after 40 minutes you should start to sweat and you will also start to feel a sense of restlessness before the challenge started i had a big bowl of cereal i gotta pee one bottle down Afterwards, I fell asleep for 26 minutes exactly, but I thought I was asleep for three hours, which just really messed with my mind. After two hours, you'll start to feel stress, and your attention looks similar to a goldfish's attention span. My brain should be pretty broken by now. I'm assuming I've been in here for five hours, maybe less, but not much. I've only been in there for two hours and 16 minutes. I'm extremely hungry right now. I could die for some Taco Bell. On a real note, my eyes are kind of hurting under here and I have a slight headache like in the front kind of down here as well <sighs> that's probably because of the lights and I was right it actually was because of the lights anything over 4,000 lumens will literally make you squint and since I've been looking at a 3,500 lumens for that long it starts to add stress on the pupils I have been wondering if the Sun is up or down I would say it's 730 Ish. At this point, I'm actually kind of going a little bit crazy. My sense of time is so bad right here. I was off by almost three hours. I started to do some sit-ups and I actually don't remember doing this for the video. I'm assuming I did it to pass some time. Alrighty. I feel like I need to sleep. It's also like really quiet outside of my box right now. So, I mean, it's probably nighttime. I should probably mention it's really, really hard to fall asleep in this room. If you try to hide from the light, it's still extremely bright, even under the blanket. I have an idea. My idea was to tie an extra shirt around my head to make a thick cover for my eyes, which also slightly removed the headache. Oh, let's go. It says right here, after five hours, you should start to lose sense of time. I just woke up. Uh, I would say I slept for 45 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, give or take. <laughs> I am completely wrong. I slept for more than six hours. <sighs> my headache is gone. Like completely that's probably because i shut out the light for a little bit you know what i mean two bottles down i don't fake these videos the hardest thing is not the headaches it's probably the thoughts in my mind like is the sun up is it down i, I feel kind of emotional i i don't know why but i can't imagine being in here months and months by yourself with literally no one to talk to. The white room is a real torture method to get prisoners to confess the crimes they've committed. The people outside tell them terrible stuff like, we've just taken custody of your children and we are holding your family hostage. Or even worse, they tell you they have killed one of your family members just to make you confess your crimes. And after they get all the truth out of you, they put you in prison and possibly all the other people that you have snitched on in the confessing. I mean, it's, it's really crazy what they do to people. That just, that just ruined the moment. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the hay. <laughs> this mattress sucks. It's literally so hard. These lights are literally an enemy to my mind. Speaking of enemy, I'm sort of in a race against another YouTuber to 100,000 subscribers. You're probably wondering, <laughs> who could be awesome enough for you to race? I'll tell you, this guy right here, Jesse Ford. He does some cool stuff, but that's not even the point. He's catching up faster than a Tesla Roadster. <laughs> so everyone watching, hit the subscribe button to get me in the lead, and let's win this race. Ka-chow. My head is just 
spinning out of control. I feel like a drunk man on roller skates with a disco ball going absolutely sicko mode. 20 hours in, you'll start to experience migraines. I was just informed that I only have three and a half hours left. Really cool. So glad. This is probably the worst side effect and the most awesome side effect. After 23 hours, hallucinations will start to begin. Many have reported seeing points of light in geometric shapes. That sounds awesome. <laughs> oh my God. I think I just hallucinated. So I just saw like a hundred, maybe 150 little lizards just crawling in the same direction. It was so, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, didn't I? And right before I got real hallucinations, this happened. Are you so happy? And I was done with the challenge. Thank you to this person for following me on Instagram. I'm gonna give a shout out to one of you guys every week. Anyways, peace.